Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to learn terminologies of structured query language. It is more important to know the terminologies of structured query language before we start it. Server will be accepting the request coming over the network according to the request it accesses the database contents and provides the detail to the clients clients connects to the database server and issues queries in predefined format to get the details if we need something we send a query to the server through the client computer giving the queries in predefined format so for that the server will be answering by accessing the database to the client with requested relational terms we know this is a table also called as relation the name is given to this table we know the tables are made up of columns and rows a named collection of data made up of columns and rows having logically related records are called table now here we are having a data in it right each smallest unit in this table so maybe anything you can take the smallest unit which is called data item the smallest unit of named data if we are taking the columns so all these are columns are also called as attributes other name of this is fields so a column containing one type of data so you can see here if you are taking the column one here this is having only the names the id is having only the ids which is integer numbers again age all are having the same data having integer city again all the city names so like this columns will be having one particular data type only these are rows these are also called as tuples we can say record row or tuple a complete information related to the single unit that is content of all the fields of row so you combine all the fields this is a field this is a field this is a field and this is a field all four fields are together called as row which gives a particular detail of a man see here kedar his id his age and then his city next number of columns are called degree or we can also say number of attributes here 1 2 3 4 so four columns are there degree of this table is 4 the number of attributes in the relation determines the degree of the relation similar way if we are counting all the rows there are five rows these number of rows are called as cardinality the number of tuples or rows in a relation is called the cardinality of a relation when we need a particular details to be displayed that is extracting the details from this table then it is called view remember the views are not the permanent one just these are extracted from the original table and as we need it will be displaying the details on the screen these extracted details are also uh, tables so table or details or data derived from the base table available virtually to view on display structural terms let us consider the table having a name called employee in short form i have given emp here are five columns name id phone number age and city if we decide every row to be identified uniquely we have a facility here saying that particular column will not have any repeated value for that we can make this column as primary key column so this will not allow any duplicate entry in it by this way we can identify each row uniquely primary key identifies each row in the table uniquely and then you need to note down this one table can only contain one primary key the primary key must be unique and without null values null values means nothing but empty so that cell cannot be empty even if you see the phone number this also can be a primary key which are all eligible to become a primary key are called candidate keys if you see in this table both the columns are eligible to become a primary key 
then these are called candidate key the field which can serve as a primary key but we have selected id as the primary key here and then the phone number which is not the primary key which becomes the alternate key now candidate keys which are not primary key are called alternate key there may be many alternate keys in a table if we are considering other table called salary i have mentioned here SAL. Here phone number is there and department designation salary and name is there. So only phone number can be identified as primary key. So we make this as primary key here. In case we want to extract the details combining both the tables then we can refer similar columns to identify the same value and append the new table as a view for us so here phone number this becomes foreign key for the salary table foreign key is used to link two tables the foreign key is kept in one table and refers to the primary key associated with another table so here in the second table it is a primary key but in the first table phone number becomes a foreign key for the salary table Sometimes we can also mention that particular column we cannot be left blank. So that means we can mention as not null. This ensures that the field has a value. Sometimes we may require some columns to be checked for a particular range of value. At that time we can give the check condition so that it always remain in the range of value which is given in the condition if we want to minimize the errors done by the human when the entries are done the database considers various way for it it is called data integrity so data should be compatible complete and accurate in database this can be achieved through the data types uniqueness and also by referential integrity that is like primary key foreign key and all these these are the main terms to know before starting the structural query language when we perform the queries in the table we will understand this more clearly we will meet in the next class where i will be starting the simple queries for you keep watching this channel keep learning thank you